What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to make ice stock grills. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first, let's go ahead and make a quick, a quick drawing of these teeth. You feel me? So, I'm gonna set my brush. And I'm using a, a Wacom Cintiq. Y'all was wondering, like, how you get the brush settings. You gotta have a digital art tablet to get this uh, pressure setting. Okay. Now, what we finna do? Let's just draw these teeth real quick, man. So all we trying to do is show you guys a quick tutorial that can help you learn a new skill okay and we just uh oh okay that's all we need. We just need the top teeth, top row of teeth. That's a uh, let's bring opacity back. That picture right there. Okay. Let's uh select the teeth we made, and I the teeth is on their own layer, so just keep that in mind. Go to expand appearance. Go to merge. Uh, duplicate the teeth by dragging it to this blank sheet okay now we're gonna drag a color make a color like gray uh, whatever color you want it to be well, I'm gonna make mine gray so drag that color over the picture you want to right click the color go to arrange and send to back because you want the color to be behind the line work you'll know if you did that right if you look over here and you'll see your line sitting on top of the of the gray highlight everything and hit merge so the line work can become one with the color you want to right click the outer color and delete it now we got this see how we got the teeth what we're gonna do we're gonna highlight the teeth again and we're gonna come up here to fix and then you're gonna go to materials this might slow up your computer too if your computer ain't fast enough. But then we're gonna hit this first one right here. And then you should have this little effect right here that look like look like crystals. Now what you can do is you can play with this play with this right here to make the pattern go. Or you can bring it this way to make it bigger. We're gonna do it about right. Uh-oh. Why can I move it like this? I sure can. Okay. Got the teeth right where I want it. You can make it a little brighter. Boom. Now you got a little diamond. You got a little diamond effect. You feel me? Now you got to do create another layer. If you want to just add some, some shadows on the teeth. Okay, I'm gonna keep that gray select to go to my pencil tool. Make sure your pencil tool settings look like this. Hit okay. And we just gonna add some shadows, man. So a couple of little shadows on the teeth. Then we're gonna come on this side, do the same thing. Council to um, 
And it's pretty much it's pretty much how you do it, man. How you make how you make your ice stock grills, you feel me? Now we could make that shadow a little darker if you want. You know what I'm saying? Make it a little darker. But that's pretty much how I be making my grills. Y'all see me make. And um just say if you want to, you can add a little sparkle effect if you want want it to shine what you do is you grab this star tool and while you still holding it you press down you know the arrows on your keyboard that go left right up down you press down and then when you get to this one you hold control while you still got it selected and you pull it out just like that and we still got it selected let's um Change that to the color white. Now let's go to our ellipse tool, basically the circle tool. And then while you got the circle tool selected, go to blur, Gaussian blur. You want to bring this up like this. And now I want to make We'll make this little blur thing smaller. So we're gonna put it in the center of this. Just like that. You feel me? Then look, go to symbols, pull out your symbols, and drag this over. And hit OK. And now that we dragged it inside of symbols, it just made it become one. So now we can just create stars make sure when you do when you do the uh, stars though make sure you bring that layer create a new layer at the very top and then you know what I'm let's do a big one Oh, yeah. oh. And that's pretty much how I do the grill effect, man. If y'all ever wanted to know, well, there you go. Tutorial on how to make the grills. Now, y'all can take it. To the next level you know what i'm saying do more get more advanced with it but that's just a a quick little simple tutorial for you guys to follow along uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you stay tuned more heat coming soon and i'm out